back with blue. Let's jump in. Yuliana, Queen of the Holy Kingdom. Double R, 3 2, 9 5. When this is placed from hand to stage, you may heal. Up to once a turn when you use a startup, this gains X power for the turn, where X is 500 times the number of your other blue characters. And climax combo. When this attacks, if Light of Hope and that heart is in the climax zone, and this is the third attack of the turn, is that you may a book pay pants? three. It is uh, a pants. Yes. Uh, you may pay three. If you do, this and another one of your characters gain the ability. Characters opposite this get neg two soul until the end of your opponent's Why system. do you pay three stock for this effect? I don't know. That is what I've been trying to figure out since day one. Like, why this costs three stock? Isn't the because third attack a cost enough? I feel like you like, think pay, so. like pay I'd even be fine with pay two, honestly. But like pay three. If this is your payoff pay for being blue, three. blue It's pay three because it's the third attack. Shut up. Awful. Shut up. This, if this is the if this is the fact that you're playing blue for, I'm honestly gonna say just go play Kantai. Or you know, rewrite or or any or other set with many BL. minus two soul characters. Like, let's be real. I think okay. this card is like. I think this card's actually not bad, apart from pay three. Like, this would be so good, or maybe not so good, but like this would be. Do you, you could even... actually play the blue deck. You could actually play the blue deck if this wasn't pay three. Right? Maybe. Is there a different level three climax combo in blue? No, absolutely not. That is. <laughs> there is a there awful. is a non climax finisher. It's a There's bit a of non a silly yeah. Finisher. The next card is one of the best. Right. So um, here's the real litmus test. Uh, would you rather play this or green Excel World? And I'm 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 looking at one person in particular for the answer. <laughs> I know it's um, looking at Zella, but uh, <laughs> uh, as a deck, this. Green this... Excel World is best girl, so... Let's just ignore whatever Connor says. About just... taste, anyway. I, I think yeah. I think that's a fair, fair statement. I'm giving it we playable. Can... Just flat playable. Can it just, can it just play neither of them? Or are we talking like just the level <laughs> 3 okay. or like the entire deck? No, I think uh, there's so a... I'm, I'm currently on Yuyute and I will be sending a copy of one of these decks to you. The huge issue with this card is that Yuliana cannot come out at level 2, I don't think. I'm pretty no. sure there's no way to bring this Yuliana out at level 2. No. There's Which a way is... to bring the CD one out. Yeah, there's, so, a way, there's a way to bring the Trial Deck one out, but not in this one. Well, you don't want to pay 3 at level 2, and second of all, like, at level 3, this also has the issue of... I don't know, is there a good back row support in blue? There's a two. There's a plus two k to level threes in every color except green. Like, okay. I understand why this is a pants. It's so that you could do it every turn if you wanted to. But I also don't understand why it costs three, so that you don't generate stock yeah. at all. I don't. This should not cost three. This is this is so questionable. <laughs> it looks pretty though, right? I Maybe. Mean, I don't. Sure. I'm giving it flat playable. There's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's super this questionable. Good. This is like, you play it because it's a heal and it's blue, and well, you don't have better stuff. And it gets reasonably big with like backups and act abilities, which is blues. Like in this color, blue stick, stick like doing act abilities and getting. Can good. I just um? Can I point out how bad that is when blue's only one zero counter is a one k counter? Yeah, but you have the red. You have one the zero red one zero right. counter. You can't brainstorm for that one. You can do everything else for it. Uh, probably. Mm, what else? Yeah. Is? Hey, that like that the one zero combo, one k. The climax counter, combo fetches it, but that one zero the brainstorm does. Is, it's quality. It turns every card in your hand into a one zero one k counter. <laughs> that card is awful. Anyways, <laughs> moving onward. All right, next card, <laughs> Teresa, Swordmaster of Slaughter. Uh, uh, I, I can see why. Yeah, yeah, right, sure. Yeah, you'd like this card. He's, she's a 3-2-10k. Uh, when damage dealt by this is not cancelled, this gains 2k for the turn. When, on the, on the turn this is placed from hand to stage, when this attacks, you may pay 2 and ditch a card from hand. If you do... Mill 9, and do X damage, where X is the number of soul triggers you milled. How many soul triggers is the average blue deck going to have? 
I'm gonna say you'll you're, get probably three. You're you're probably burn three four. That's you, actually not bad. You're playing a climax with a two soul trigger. That's questionable. Okay, more like four five. Then. <laughs> yeah. Could no, but it's split? cards. Oh, oh, it's not cards. It's not with cards with soul trigger. It's for each soul trigger. Oh. Yeah. Mm. You're mm. playing a stock soul in this deck, so. Huh. That's less good. This is this is actually better in like the yellow deck probably than it is in this. I've honestly, like, okay. I've honestly thought about putting like one copy of this in the yellow deck. Yeah, I, I get it. Correct. Yellow deck. What patch huh? is it? The yellow deck. Like your on reverse combo searches for uh, mana trait. And, and you're getting your you're getting this at level one, are you? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you just play so you it when you draw in your hand and look at the pretty art. You can get it off your check top three. But hey, yeah, you can also just get it in your hand and look at the pretty art. That that works too. Uh, I think this card is good. Like, I actually think this is a pretty solid card. It's just... Yeah. I'm not going to give it the good rate. I'm giving it a playable plus. But it has a whole bunch of good abilities, I guess. The damage dealt by this not cancelling thing is really an aside. Like, I was like, whatever. Yeah, like why did they bother? I would have rather had something a little more useful. Yeah. But... Uh, I think playable plus is perfectly reasonable. Yeah. Can it also has the best, the, the best right, looking foil really... in the set, so... I think it should... If it was, like, play seven cards, I think this would be a lot better. Or f five? I don't know. What's the optimal number for this five, probably, right? I would... uh, it depends on the number I'd of say... soldiers in your deck. Yeah, I would not want fewer than seven, honestly. I want this to be hitting for, like, three. And you're not playing, like, 50% soul traders. Sure. Okay, sure. Seven seems fine. Yeah, I think seven's good. Nine is a bit too much. Like, usually this hits four. four this is probably, this is five, probably hitting four probably. to four to five, yeah. Uh, but it's a lot more, it's a lot easier funny. of a four than the red one, right? Okay, so I found out that this is flavor because Teresa's main skill deals nine nine blows of light damage. Okay. Wow, it's like sword art all over again. So, <laughs> assuming it was seven and you have fourteen triggers left in a thirty-eight card deck, which is way too many cards in your deck, but still, uh, fifty-one percent chance to do more than three damage, or three thirty percent chance to do exactly three on seven. Uh, with you're nine, gonna deal like a billion that like you're dealing way too much damage. Way higher. <laughs> you're dealing more than you're doing, like there's a forty five percent chance that you're dealing more than three damage. How often nine. do you deal? How how often do you deal thirteen? Uh, this does not accommodate for that at all. <laughs> oh, she's illustrated by Aka Wada, and she's voiced by Sakura Yane. Anyways, uh, playable pluses. Is it like is it like the the Fina voiced yeah, by Fina, Fina, Yeah, Fina Zainer. Okay. He used so cut. it's just two okay. characters by the same... Okay, sure. Whatever. Hey, look. Kantai has like eight Iron Arrows. Okay, right. Brainstorm. So Brainstorm is up to once a turn when you use a startup effect, choose a character, and that gains 500 for the turn. A little underwhelming, but whatever, we'll take it. And Brainstorm, pay one tap, this is a startup effect. Flip over four cards from your deck. Uh, for each climax you reveal, search your deck for a blue character, add it to hand. You're playing like at least three of this probably, right? Mm. Mm. Probably, probably three. Like three seems like a good number, no? Yeah. Seems fine. I I'd play three. Yep. Playable plus. Nah, just playable. It's your brainstorm. Yeah. Alright. So next card. Uh, Yuliana, to recapture the capital. It is a Ricky. Uh, when this is placed in hand stage, you pay one clock the top card of your deck. If you do, search your deck for a level one or lower character. Add it to your hand. Uh, playable plus. It's gotta be good, right? I think I think this is good because it's like one of the few cards that like actually ties colors together in this deck. Sure, I can get behind that. It's not very interesting though. That's unfortunate. Oh, absolutely. I'd, not. I'd like my rares to be more interesting. Then we have more to talk about. Yeah, but this is still good. Like just yeah. because it's not interesting doesn't mean it's not no, a good no, card. No. That's fine. Yeah. All Mine's right. Lot. 
Jesus, what kind of name is that? It's not, yeah, Iron Slot, Blade that protects the Queen of the Holy Kingdom. It's a 0025. When the battle opponent of this is reversed, choose another blue character, rest it, and move it to an empty slot in the back row. What is it? Like the, the freaking uh, Yukiko? It's like shortcut yeah, Yukiko clean, or something? Clean cut. Yeah, like got... clean cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, how does it feel that, like, clean cut Yukiko continues to get power corrupt year after year? I don't even think it's being power crept. Like, this card can't go in any deck except, like, the solid blue deck. Whereas Yukiko went in, like, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a pseudo runner effect that are usually fine, playable. Wait, did we actually skip over the Ricky already? No, yeah, well, I mean, yeah. yes, in the sense that we said it was good and it's boring to talk about. Okay, oh, okay sure. Uh, this I just is... went to grab something to drink. This is just playable. Ricky's the best card in this color, by the way. <laughs> Moving on. You're not wrong. Alright, next card. Lilith, Holy Savior, 101k. Your other character in the front row center gets 1k power. This activates up to once a turn. When you use a startup, choose a blue character. That character gains 1k for the turn. And pay to tap this, heal one. Do you have enough stock to use that heal effect frequently? No. I it. Uh, somewhat. I don't know. You play a stock soul, and your combo is costless. So maybe. Your level 3s kind of suck. Hmm. This, might, this rather... might be fine. <laughs> against this deck and like the guy used this like twice per game that's not bad that's actually like decent value yeah. I, like it's I, there if you wanted to like you can do it you probably don't want to do it but if you have to you can yeah, I, yeah. that's fine and that's perfectly reasonable you mostly play for the like assign 1k on startup yeah that's all fine it, this it makes up for not having a real like early play i guess support. I think it's just playable. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It's fine. It's kind of boring. It's, it's got the startup boost. Something something, why is what's her name from Shining still banned or whatever? Cyril? Yeah, Cyril. Sir, yeah, Cyril. Alright, <laughs> Teresa, natural sword skills. So 1045. Up to once turn when you use a startup effect, this gains 1-5 for the turn. And climax combo, when the battle opponent of this reversed, if you have your Not next... Soul. Um, yeah, just for um, anticipation sake, your next is what she says when she uses her, her special ability. This is what I got from the Chain Chronicle wiki. You can thank me later. Nice. Uh, where was I? Uh, anyway, yeah. If, if all you your characters up, are blue. If all your characters are blue, look up the three cards from the top of your deck and choose one of them. Um, no, look up the three cards from the top of your deck and add one of those to your hand. The so, goes in my experience, anticipate it's a very poor cantrip. Um, regardless, are there any broken events in blue? Why? No. Uh, this really wanted to have, like, a climax that gave power, I feel like. Uh, the it's level not... 3 really wanted to stock soul, and this really wanted to pants, but it's the yeah. other way around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this card is playable. Um, anticipates like pretty whatever as effect and magic in this game it's a lot better. Mm -hmm. So, uh, not I having to reveal is actually very like nice. It's ponder that you didn't pay mana for. No, it's not. You know, it's, I it's, don't know. it's closer to anticipate. It's anticipate, yeah. It's anticipate. And anticipates shitty impulse, and impulse in this game is basically a Kotsky. So, there you have it. <laughs> Compared to worse than me, no sense whatsoever in this game. <laughs> Uh, it's a climax combo. It's costless advantage. You'll play it. It's okay. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Having to reverse is a little bit unfortunate because 6k is not going to be super reliable. Uh, assuming you have a startup effect to activate, which means in reality your board is probably going to be like 6, 5, 7k, 6k. Which is unfortunate because like you really needed that power here. Well, center is going to be 7, 5 at least. And like the other lane is probably 7k. Yeah. So like you can but just... It's like... Some... It's like in counter range of everything, so it kind of sucks. You'll yeah. probably get two reverses against most decks. Um, some decks you'll get three. If they don't counter. Yeah, so it's it's going to be a little bit weird. It's going to be awkward. Uh, the effect is It's fine. also like the weird part where your best startup is it's probably the, global... the Brainstorm. It's... No, it's the Global 5. It's the Global 500. It's the Global 5, 500. but but you like... 
Uh, if you have the so, one zero in back row, you probably also want to brainstorm in back row, and yeah, then you have, don't have space for the global five, and then it's awkward bad things, time. whatever. Bad time. It's bad. Bad times. Uh, this card is just playable. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Vienta, Thousand Rivers Overseal. This is, Speaking of oh, level there's five. No, there's nothing rare over level one. Okay. It's a uh, zero zero global five hundred. Tap this, give something five hundred power. Obligatory comment about how Shano is very sad. Uh, this card has a very funky foil. Yeah, is this card does the one that has foil, the foil, or is it the other card of her? This card has a foil. This card has a foil. This card is an SR. Okay. Okay. Uh, I knew that one of her cards did. I forgot which one it was. Yep. Yeah. I mean, this card is perfectly fine. It's. It's playable if yep. you want a global five it's, effect. I don't think you need it. This card's better in this deck than in others because you care about the startup thing. Yeah, it's a costless startup effect, which is nice. So you'll play some number of this in this deck. Yeah, yeah. it's playable. Oh, did you know Madoka is in um in Chain Chronicle? I did not. That's just Kono Suba. All right. Next up is which, which, I'm which again. company is Chain Chronicle from? I don't know. No idea. Look it up, you're already on the wiki. Which what is she for? Oh, Verona, really? <laughs> this guy is pretty... Okay. Oh, this is your filler. Yeah, this is your secondary level one in the blue deck. Oh, uh, you know okay, what this I'm reminds me of? Distracted. It reminds me of like... A pretty decent card from the index power up campaign, comeback campaign. Mm hmm. Except that card time machined. So. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is also a lot bigger. And it's. And you it does can, have like, a way. It, has, it triggers its own first effect. Yeah. And it also triggers the effect for other characters, which is very relevant. It's another costless way to trigger the startup clause. Yeah. Uh, especially because you can tap your the one zero back row that you don't want to pay two and tap it for something. So, and it actually gets like reasonably big just uh, for tapping one one I character. Mean, tap it one, you get plus three five, so it's a one zero seven five on offense, and then it dies. Yeah. <laughs> plus yeah, whatever. Pretty much. Well, unless you have a <laughs> counter. Well, it's a it's a one zero seven five base. on offense, and then every card in your hand is a one k counter. I still think you play like. Three to four of the two K counter, probably. No, you, you definitely do. You you don't yeah. play the one K counter. <laughs> yeah, no, this is fine. This you is play playable. like maybe one copy of the one K counter because you want to be like. Well, you might need to brainstorm for it sometimes, and like. Yeah. So you can at least like, so you have some way of turning this on in your opponent's turn. Yeah, so this is playable. Yeah, you run this. Climax combo. Okay, my Firefox is frozen. So, uh, yeah, all right. Next card, Musica, Legendary Sorceress. Assist, um, 2K power to Song all Triss. Song Triss. Oh, my God. Assist uh, all your higher characters in front of this game, 2K power, and this card has basically no other text. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The other ability is Climax Combo. When Song of Purification is placed to the Climax Zone, choose a character. That character gains X power to the end of your opponent's next turn. That's terrible. And you can tap it to make all of your characters gain the ability. Character opposite this cannot side attack. That's also reason. pretty bad. The Climax, the climax is a is book, a, if anybody book, cared. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, you're playing this if you want a blue plus 2k assist. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's literally it. Yep. Uh, I'm going to give it a niche. Actually, this might be playable if you actually need a gen three two. Oh my god! Oh, uh, you need you need it that your three two survives. Yeah, because... you actually need this. That's that's tragic. The thing is, though, like you can rest it so that none of your opponent's characters can side attack. Yeah. But why would they be side attacking into your minus two soul anyway? I mean, I've definitely side attacked with Toma into minus two soul before. Sure, but, but you know, what? I also had to literally you're, live the dream. Like, you're dealing like, with what? I had to live. The Even dream if you're playing a two soul, and you're using his ability, then you're dealing one damage. 
Well, no, no, you're dealing no damage. They're level three, minus five. Yeah. So if you, <laughs> so if you do his ability, he has six soul. I've, I've had to do it for, like, very specific reasons. It's not a good idea. This is so bad. It's so bad. I do not recommend it. Um, this card is Resonance. Yeah, it does. It's the only card in the set with Resonance. It's the only card with Resonance, is it? Why? The, why? It's the only card in the set with Resonance. I was reading through the cards, and when I got to this, I was just like, why is this here? This Anyways. Uh, what is not be here. Juliana Female Knight? This is level 3, right? It's the Trial Deck level 3. Oh my god. Okay. The trial deck level 3 is at least a heal, right? It is a heal that during your opponent's turn, if all your characters are blue, it gains 2,000 power, I want to say. So, this is a trap card that doesn't really work well as a trap card because it has a resonance effect to reveal you, you the have trap to, card. Yeah, you show your opponent that you have it before you show they your walk opponent. Right you, it. in fact, will trap them if they try to do something. Yeah. So then they know they can just like blow through it anyways if they if you have it. This is terrible. This is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Do not play this. This is bad. Actually, hey, this has an SR too. <laughs> Why does it have resonance? This this has an SR and the trial deck level three doesn't. Nice. <laughs> anyways, if you're playing this, you're losing. <laughs> I All think right. there are worse cards that we've seen today. Yes. Yes. <laughs> level, <laughs> the level three at, at least heals, which is like, whatever. It's That's still so bad. All right, next card. Um, Yggdra, Power of the Chronicle, 0015. Your other mana character in the front row center gains 1k. And come and play, look at the top card of your deck, put it either on top or in the wedding. What? It's the big this twist that she is actually the Tree of the Worlds, or whatever the hell it's called in Norse mythology. Why, why doesn't this at least put the card on the bottom? Like, they're not even trying anymore. Because apparently... Oh, I, did not, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. That's broken. Yeah, don't play this. Don't play this. I'm a little unhappy. Can they at least try to adhere to the color pie? Like, it's... So, mm -hmm. honestly, it's respectful. What the fuck? How many also, crossovers does Chain Chronicle have? A lot. Also, oh. don't play this card. I don't know, it's a climax, this card. Lilith, Prayer of the this Young Savior. Uh, yeah, don't play this. Like, <laughs> no. This is terrible. You diss a climax to give a character plus 2k to let an opponent's turn. That's so bad. It's an auto effect. Jesus. Yeah, this is bad. And it's, and it's like only when this card is placed from head to stage. Like it's not even a startup, it's just... Yeah. Why? You can't, you can't even summon it out with the Fina combo and then ditch a climb. <laughs> I don't know why I got rid of the bad rating. This is also just terrible. Uh, yes. Wayne, Holy Garden Knights, 4k, 0, 0. And it's placed from hand to stage. If there are three or more climaxes in an opponent's waiting room, rest this. That's just awful. Just awful. An entire level three in Cl in Kantai didn't get played just because of this card. Yep. Uh, this card's pretty silly. Louise Body Double. Uh, dish a card. When you use Louise Body Double, you may choose a Louise Body Double in your waiting room and return to your oh. hand. <laughs> You got to the, this, to the counter. Yeah, and it's a 1 0 the, counter the flavor for 1k. This is pretty good. Yeah, so. Every you, card in your hand is a 1k back. You're backup. replacing your body double with a body double. That's yeah. so. To save, to save your field because they just assassinated your body double. 1k power is can like. infinitely respawn. 1k power is just like not enough on a backup. This is the. This is the fastest way to get rid of your entire hand. <laughs> <laughs> you just counter the yes. times turn. So this combos with the Fina combo. If you have this in your hand, you will want to play it every single battle. And you will no, regret no, no. everything. Well, I, th I think this is just like... Uh, you, you don't see this as a 1k 
like backup. You see, this is like a way to turn on all the startup things. Oh well, yeah, you yeah. like yeah. a two That's five a... backup for your level one combo, or like a three five backup for the four K dude. Uh, and also like the one zero back row assigns one K, and the brainstorm assigns yeah. five hundred. So like, this like, will not... still be a respectable backup. Yeah. Yeah. Just because like it a, looks like a joke doesn't mean it's actually a joke, though it kind of is. Slightly less impressive Kantai that always yeah. has a counter in hand. It's still yeah, a joke. Yeah, you'll probably play one of this just because you can search it up with the brainstorm. As a point of reference, if you're playing as Little Busters, do not use that first effect. Oh my god. That would <laughs> suck. That would absolutely <laughs> suck. Because you will you now, lose you now the have game. To, you now have to discard three. Every time you want to play your 1k back <laughs> Well, no, you just have to ditch three if you want to, like, buy it back. Oh, well, yeah, if you want to buy it back. That's... Vomit. Is, is that actually how it works? Yes. It's during... It's during Little Buster says, stage? during combat, if a player adds a card from a waiting room to their hand, they must ditch two. During, oh, yeah, it's, the player yeah, returns yeah. the character due to effect of that own that player's own cards. Yeah, so yeah, you would have to. Yeah. That's the more you know. It's it's why index does not feel good playing against oh, that, at all. Because like using your um the uh, index, index and Yoko is absolutely savage. savage. It, it is, is technically salvage. It is technically a salvage because it says when it's sent to waiting room, you may pay cost if you do return to your hand. Yep, that is that is not good. Do not do that. That is that is a foolish thing to do. Huh. <laughs> huh. I thought so. It's true as of cold steel. Um, okay, I'm done looking through all the cards in Chain Chronicle, and Jesus, there are a lot of crossovers. Like Attack on Titan. There's a lot of crossovers in like white sets as well. Anyway, um, so I'm I'm back and paying attention for whatever that's worth. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. Vienta. Next, next card. Vienta, bond the father and daughter for each of your other Rafaga, Thousand Rivers Chieftain in the front row. This gains 2k power. We'll get to that card, but you can think of it as a one zero, maybe six, six five. five. It is a six five. When yeah. this is placed from hand to stage, you may pay one. If you do, search your deck for one of those characters and put it in any slot on the stage. That's actually not terrible. Yeah. The other card just is not good. The other card is, <laughs> is, is next. To one okay, so the other card is Rafaga, Thousand Rivers Chieftain. If you have two or more other weapon characters and two or more other magic characters... Wait, it's and? And. Is yeah, that you? and. Yeah, it is and. and. Oh, oh, okay, rip. Yeah, this I thought it was not more. good. <laughs> Basically, your front row Oops. needs to be all Rafagas, and your back row needs to be all Vientas. Well, no, you... No, it doesn't even that, work. That, the, uh, the other, no, yeah, it doesn't work, period. Well, no, that does, because that's still, like... Well, no, no, like, the other, like, the level 1 combo, for example, is weapon, and the supports are all magic, like... The traits are kind of split between. Oh, yeah, but, like... Your field does need to be very specific to make it... Your field has to be very specific to make him a 6-5. Yeah, uh, as a it combo, has to be specific to be good. Like, as a uh, if you can, you'd want two of the Rafaga in the front row, one of the Vienta to make that an eight K. Yeah, and then Rafaga would be a six five, hopefully. If and then you, you need one, one weapon, and one magic weapon. in back row. Yeah, uh, as a as a pair, it's I think hard, niche minus. Like, the payoff is like, like not quite good enough. Yeah, agreed. This is niche minus. <sighs> All right, what's the next card? Um, Yuliana, full power strike, one one six k. If you have two or more other mana characters, this is a one one seven k. So it is just a one one seven k. When the battle opponent of this is reversed, if there are four or fewer other characters, four no, four or fewer cards in your store. This what? is the second time we've had an anti encore effect in this set. Sure, you may put that character on the bottom of the library. This seems really bad. It is. Yep. Wait. Yeah, okay, sure, that checks out. Yeah, this is blue. <laughs> what? Like, this is the I, second I, anti encore would... effect in the set, and traditionally most of them tend to be pretty garbage unless they're red, because the red one's top deck. Even the red one in the set was not very good. <laughs> no. 
No, 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 no. you play that card. However, the red one was on a 1175 instead of a 117k. Yep. And the red one was bondable. Yep. And the bond supports the 1 1. Yes. Yep. So this is just. This is not not something you should play. No. This is a 3 5 Next. backup. Yeah. This is a 3 5 yeah. backup. You'll probably play some playable. No, yeah, because it's, there's it's a better good. counter. Yeah, there's, there's a yellow. A... Is it's it a, a yellow. I think there's it's a, a yellow. Sack minus soul? It, it's, it's pay one and sack one of your own characters to give your opponents level two or higher character minus one soul. Okay, this is yeah, playable it's minus. Good. It's good in the blue deck. It's just playable. It's just playable in the blue and red decks. Yeah. Uh, Rowindia, holy sum. Uh, is that how you say that word? Sum? I, I don't know. I don't know. Sum. Yeah. Sum. Uh, when it starts. If the level of the character ops is three or higher, this gains 6k for the turn. Tap a mana character, this gains 1k for the turn. This is your best level 3 killer. Goes up to 15. That's fine. Uh, it also triggers... It's another way to constantly trigger all of your uh, startup effects. This will kill basically every level 3. Oh, yeah. In, in the, the blue In the blue deck, definitely. Yeah, in the blue deck. Like you, with really just helpful. the effect, you easily pump to like 15-5 if you want to. Yeah. Uh, I'm still gonna give it a niche. I don't. You're gonna play this. You're gonna play this in the meta yeah, deck, this even. Is, so yeah, this you... is gonna be playable. Yeah. This is you even play this like outside of blue. Yeah. And the last card in blue. All right. Before we actually Very get bad. to the cards, determined to become king. Two one events. Choose two characters and rest them. You rest two characters. Draw a card, and all your mana characters gain two K for this. Is this a two thousand seventeen card? Nope. Well, it's like two thousand twelve yeah. card. What the hell? Why is this card so bad? It's not even the, a startup. Effect. The worst part is that it taps your cards, which means you can't tap them to trigger your other startup effects. Nice. It is explicitly oh, anti-synergy with the rest of blue. I'd also like to point out the um, that specific blue field that would require you to have one magic and one weapon in back row. The brainstorm and the 1k on startup are both... Magic and weapon, weapon. yeah. They're, no, they're both... No, they're magic no, they're and both weapon. Mo they're mana and weapon. No, one is mana and weapon and the other is... Magic. magic weapon. Oh, is it? I think. Or no, wait, no, no, I, no. I was looking at the global. No, no. Both are both are weapon. The 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 global one is mana. Oh, it's magic. The global is magic. The global is magic. Yeah. You just can't have your brainstorm and cool startup thing, if you want to do that. Uh, this card is pretty bad. Well, the other like uh the 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 switcher like the the. Guy and girl thing also doesn't need like the startup thing in back row, so you can just do brainstorm yeah. and support. brainstorm and global. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is probably bad, and if it's in your it's deck, it's probably yeah, this is a yeah. bad card. Uh, this is the best card in the set. <laughs> Shut up. We'll get there. The best card in the set's in yellow. For the record, this does go to stock when you reveal it with Aram. Yes. <laughs> but why are you playing this in the red deck? <laughs> You're just playing the bomb in the blue deck because it's such a good card. Oh, oh okay. my god. But you can't play I, the bomb it. in the blue deck. Your full field needs to be blue. No, you just don't play the blue combo. Oh no! <laughs> <sighs> wait, wait. Does the red bomb have magic or weapon? It's uh, weapon. I believe it has weapon. <laughs> it's weapon. Everything, everything in this set is mana and either magic or weapon. Except for the black soldiers. Except yeah, except for the black black army, right? Uh, so that is it for blue. Uh, we did not spend as much time on blue because although blue is probably still an on average better color than red in the sense they have more tools, this color was boring. Is it actually better? I don't, I don't think, think so. It's better. Yeah. It just has a I don't either. I think so. no, blue is better than red. Blue is absolutely better than red. The level no. one field is better. I don't think the level one is. field is actually not garbage. You don't have a level. What's your level two game? 
You don't have a level you one bomb. You can kill opposing level up. threes. That's, That's your level garbage. two. That is absolutely rubbish. Your level one combo. You sound like... really Australian right now. Six K. Your level one combo is like six K, and you don't have a climax that gives power. I'm fairly sure red is better than blue. Regardless, blue was level definitely. Combo isn't like your level one combo is never gonna be six K. It's always no, gonna it's... be seven or se or eight. It's gonna Still be like one. six. It's gonna be six five or seven five, depending on where you put the one K pump. Uh the one the one K pump also supports one K center, constantly. Okay, so your center one's gonna be big. Fair enough. Your center one will be big. This color was I, not. I don't think it's even like level, level red. Just sucks. This is like okay. No, well, this is I, not. I think red is better than blue. blue no, has a, that's it. That's that's it. It has nothing else. Just play. Yeah. Just what play does Ricky? red get except the bomb? Just play Ricky Red has and a level one Ricky. combo. It has an advanced summon game. One combo is one hundred times worse than this one. What? The level the one combo? combo Guaranteed suck. advantage. You only need to play one card. It's fine. You need to have five or less cards in your hand. Whatever. Just don't clock it. That's really a problem. Oh no, yeah. It's our, not condition, our condition for getting our combo is not punching ourselves. That's that's the condition for using the climax combo. Yeah, that's also it's makes fine. less likely to draw your climax. Still fine. Ugh. Like your standards are whack. Like you, you take this downside and you um you, you ran with it way too far. Blue has basically nothing except a Ricky, in all honesty. It has a brainstorm as well. Uh, okay. What? I think so red sucks too much at level one to actually do anything. Blue has sizable level one field. That's it awesome. no. What does it have? It's like permanent. The one, the one zero guy that gains like 500 times your characters when you add, like he's he's actually. Reasonably big on offense and defense. If you have okay, a if, if you use it, back up, your stuff is like your opponent is not getting over your shit. Maybe you just play red blue and you play like the blue like startup what, what power stuff blue, and then you back, play red back, top end. What? No. Well, yeah, I guess you can do that. Actually, yeah. Maybe. Blue has no top end. It just has nothing. Uh, you you have to play the you play like red top end, red two K backups, and then you play the blue dude that gains power times your blue characters, and you just play like nothing but blue at level zero and one. Yeah, but then your brainstorm. This sounds terrible. really questionable. But <laughs> brainstorm's terrible in that case. You probably just. Well, oh. no, you you fetch your early game. Sure, but then there's no way to get your end game except relying on. Drawing from the top three. The, the climax combo fetches every color. The clim what climax combo? If the, you, if the, you play the, the Teresa one. climax combo, then yeah. It, it's anticipating every time you reverse, so you can add whatever you want to your hand. I guess you have to. I, you, I guess you have to play it if you're going to do that. Isn't the Teresa climax combo check top three add? It's check yeah. top yeah. three add any card from among those to your hand. No reveal. It's fine, you tap in the top of your deck, that's not great. Yeah, yeah, but it's like... I mean, it's all you've got if you're doing, like, red top end and blue I th deck. I think mono blue is gonna be better than mono red. Well, no, you're wrong, but that doesn't matter. I don't think either of them are good decks. I agree with with boats over well, there. We, we didn't talk about good decks, because if you want to play a good deck, the only color you're looking at is yellow. And, like, splashing yeah. blue. Right. So that is you just, just for... you you play you play blue if you want like well you're playing blue for the Ricky the be the best foil in the set you're playing blue for the Ricky and maybe the level three that you mill nine that that's the best foil in the set all right it's beautiful <laughs> on to yellow yep so we'll be back with yellow.